our worries and our fears come from a sort of uh, lack of understanding. Um, so although it may seem very obvious, what exactly is AI? How do you explain that to your students? The idea of artificial is sometimes a strange word to have there. Um, yeah, well, I, I think the more strange word to have there actually is intelligence. Because, <laughs> uh, uh, you know, when, when you learn about how AI really works, it doesn't seem very intelligent. And we'll maybe get to some examples of some silly failures of machines later. Uh, look, when you think of AI, uh, don't think of a droid. Don't think of R2-D2 or the Terminator or the Daleks from Doctor Who. Uh, think of an algorithm, okay? Uh, and an algorithm is literally just a set of instructions that are so simple and direct that even something as literal-minded as a computer could understand them. I, I mean, I don't know if you've ever heard the joke about the robot who got stuck in the shower for infinity uh, because of the algorithm on the shampoo bottle, you know, lather, rinse, repeat, right? <laughs> um, and you guys, y'all are familiar with algorithms too. I mean, you know, pick up a, a famous cookbook, you know, Mary Berry's Guide to Cakes or whatever, right? That's a, an algorithm for baking a Victoria sponge. It's just a set of instructions. And AI is a, a pipeline of algorithms. I mean, I'll give you an example. Have you ever, so I'm from Austin, Texas. Have you ever been to Austin? Um, I haven't. You haven't? Have any of y'all? Anybody, anybody been to Austin here? So few. I know that VA runs like a 747 every day to Austin, so some of y'all have been there. Uh, <laughs> so in Austin, we have uh, breakfast tacos. This is kind of like the, the chicken tikka masala of, set, of Central Texas, where it's, it's kind of not Mexican, it's not American, it's both, it's neither. It's this wonderful uh, breakfast creation with like bacon and eggs and beans and salsa and a taco. Okay, so every restaurant in Austin has its breakfast tacos. So let's say you take the 747 to, uh, to Austin and you, you land in the morning and you ask your phone, okay, Google, uh, where can I find the best breakfast tacos in Austin? That's AI, the response that you get back. And what happens, the chain of algorithms, the pipeline of data from query to answer, it's an incredible feat of engineering. I mean, there's one algorithm that takes the raw uh, string of sounds and converts it into a digital signal. Uh, there's another algorithm that takes that digital signal and chops it up into English phonemes, which are the perceptually distinct units of sound in our language. Uh, there's another algorithm that takes those phonemes and segments, segments them into words. Breakfast, tacos, Austin, which is a deceptively hard problem. Uh, the results of that query get sent to a search engine, which is itself this enormous pipeline of algorithms to process the query and send back an answer. Then there's another algorithm that formats the response into a coherent English sentence, and yet another one that verbalizes the response in this coherent, uh, non-robotic sounding way. And so that pipeline of algorithms, every single one of which is trained by data, that's AI. Uh, the analogy I like to draw uh, is that the algorithm is like the internal combustion engine, and AI is like the car. It's the engineering system, the whole system that has these little subsystems, these algorithms in it, uh, to produce the illusion of domain-specific intelligence. So the Q 